Hey guys, so I thought I would do a favorites video for you today. I haven't done one of those in a while now. And um, let's see, I am still loving Chobo Yang BB Cream. Quite boring, you've seen it a hundred times, so I'm not gonna show it, but just know I do still love it. And for bronzer, I have been really, really liking this one and it's nude on board. Just the perfect color for me. It's funny how, um, I don't know, when I really like something, I just keep reaching for it. And I've used this one consistently, like for months every day since I got it. So, hence the big hole in it. And um, let's see, for eyeshadow, I have really been obsessed with this Guerlain palette. Let's see, it's number 10. Lindsay sent this to me. I love all the colors. I tried the two blues last week. How fun is that? I don't know if I should be doing it back here for you or up there. Before I'd reached up way close, but that was my other camera, so let me know what you think. And the black is my favorite thing because it's unlike any other black that I've ever used. It blends so well. A lot of blacks have, um, they're just so chalky. They're really hard to blend and I don't have that problem with this one. It's just so smooth and it's not too, too, you know, it's not too, too black. It's just perfect. I love it. Um, what else? This lip combo, Boldly Bare from MAC and this lipstick from Wet n Wild 900B. It's just a really pretty, um, soft peachy kind of color. Again, not sure. Is that better? Another one that I love that's downstairs in my purse is Salute from MAC. Came out with the same um, collection with the nude on board. And it reminds me of like the 60s, um, very Lana Del Rey-ish. It's very peachy, very similar to the Wet n Wild, but even more um, creamy and yummy and milky. And that peach is, it's just so pretty. I'm so into those right now. For cheeks, blush, I've been loving um, bright kind of orangey, corally colors. This one is from Illamasqua. And the name has rubbed off. This is not the cream one, it's a powder. And it's just gorgeous. I either reach for that one or this one from Sleek Pantal. Love those so much. For eyebrows, I have two favorites, and these are all-time favorites. I either reach for this pencil, which is the, um, let's see, the Lancome in Sable. Has this um, amazing brush at the end. I love this spoolie. This is a really neat, um, oopsie, pencil because it kind of, it's just so subtle and smoky looking and just looks more like a powder than a harsh pencil look. And also this um, Anastasia and Ebony. This is a duo. It's just a powder duo. Lately, I've just been swiping both of those right across and applying it directly over. Um, my brows are tattooed, so I just apply it directly over just to darken it up just a little bit. and. That's what I've been doing lately and loving that. So easy. Also, um, started Jaden on Proactive this summer. She's going to be starting middle school already and just, you know how it feels when you start to break out a little bit. Um, completely cleared her up. It's amazing. And one of my favorite things in that kit that I've noticed a huge difference on, I've actually used this on myself too, is the refining mask. And mostly just to treat a breakout, um, that, like overnight type of thing it makes the biggest difference I had a gnarly one right here just the other day so I dabbed it on at night and slept with it and a huge difference in the morning helps with the redness I really love that product I'm gonna be purchasing this separately and um, let's see for concealer age rewind down to here this has lasted just forever this is the brightening one yeah it's number 60 brightener illuminator and it's just fantastic because it's the consistency of it is so thin it doesn't it doesn't feel like it seeps into the lines or anything like that it's a beautiful highlighter for like down the center of the nose and all that too so love that 
and the two um, highlighting products that I use like cheekbones that I've been reaching for are both from Laura Mercier and this one is my good old candlelight I still have not too much in there but gosh I think I've had this since last summer love that and also this um, illuminator very messy but it's gorgeous so yeah when I use this I just kind of put it um, on my cheekbone area and it's so pretty especially in summer and for eyeliner this Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion and I will put it on this is really intense like it's really really black I'll show you So what I do is I'll start kind of like halfway and make just a thick line and then I'll use this brush here, which I think is a Sonia Kashuk. Got that one from Target. And then I use that to actually get in the corner because it's just easier for me with this angled brush than that pencil. So and that pencil is amazing in the waterline. Lasts all day. Wearing it today and haven't touched it up. It's Pretty amazing so I think those are all of my favorites there's one other thing sitting here I know I have this out this Too Faced natural at night palette obsessed with the top row especially this one here I often put this just in the crease all the way to the center area and then of course I take my um, black and would do the outer V area but I just love that it's called nightcap I love this whole palette this one is um, another good one too just it's just a like a matte you know highlighter type of color it has like a yellowy tone to it and I really like it I love all these colors so yeah those are my favorites for this month and I want to also do um, a summertime favorites but I wanted to include not just makeup, but all the products that I've used in the summer, moisturizers and sunscreens and all of that stuff. So I'll be doing that one probably towards more the um, end of this month. And that's it. I hope you guys have a really fun weekend, and I'll see you really soon. Bye, guys.